Do you want to know how you can draw t-shirt designs faster? In our video today, Maggie is going to show us one of her techniques to speed up the process of drawing t-shirt designs in Procreate. She explains why you should use the symmetry effect, which kinds of designs work well with it, and how you can use it to create fast and extremely precise designs. Hi everyone, this is Everson with DTG Merch, where we talk about everything you need to know to run a successful t-shirt business. We regularly post tutorials and other helpful content about topics like t-shirt design, print on demand and direct to garment printing. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new t-shirt design tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can speed up the design process in Procreate using the symmetry feature. If you look closely at the screen, you will see that everything I draw on one side is automatically mirrored to the other side. The way I set up my file in Procreate is that I created a new canvas with the size of 4500 by 5400 pixels. This is the size I would usually use for designs for print-on-demand platforms like Merch by Amazon. I use the resolution of 300 dpi and the color profile is sRGB. And if you're wondering why, we will release a video soon that explains why you should not use CMYK for direct to garment printing designs. Now as a first step, let's go ahead and turn on that symmetry feature. You go to Actions, Canvas and make sure the drawing guide is turned on. Then you go to Edit Drawing Guide and it will bring you to this screen. As you can see, you can choose from several different drawing guides, but the one that is of interest for us is the symmetry feature all the way at the right. And as you can see, up there you can choose the color for that line that goes right through the middle, also change the opacity and the thickness of that line. And that line indicates where the screen will be mirrored. So with the way this symmetry is set up, Everything you draw on the left side will automatically be mirrored to the right side as well. So now let's have a look at which other options you have. If you go back into the Edit Drawing Guide menu and go to Options, you can see Vertical, which is what we have right now, Horizontal, which mirrors everything from the bottom to the top half and the other way around. Then we have Quadrant, which splits the canvas into four equal parts and mirrors everything you draw on every quadrant. Let's make it a little bit more visible. So as you can see, everything you draw is mirrored in every quadrant. And the last option you have is radial, which is a great feature to draw mandalas. Now if you go back to the drawing guides menu and change to rotational symmetry, you see that everything is repeated in the same direction, whereas before it was mirrored. Now you can activate the drawing guide for each layer. So to deactivate it, you just go to the layers menu and you click on the assisted layer and turn it on and off. Also, when you look at the Layers menu, it will say Assisted underneath, so you know that it's active or not. And the nice thing about the Symmetry feature is that you can use it for everything. You can use it for sketching, you can use it for inking, and you can also use it for coloring. Which is very practical in my opinion, and it speeds up things quite a lot. So 
So now I would like to add a few lines to my design, more specific to her headdress. To do so I go to radial symmetry and then I start drawing the lines. And I'm going to move the layer all the way to the back. Because I want the lines to disappear behind the design. Now I pick an orange color and let's just go ahead and start drawing the lines. And as you can see, it's repeated all over the design in all parts. So now let's just draw in the lines. And as you can see on the top, they do look very nice. But at the bottom, where they're mirrored, they don't look very nice because they don't hide behind the design. But that is intentional and we will clear this up in a few minutes. So once I like the way my little spikes look, I will go back to radial symmetry to change the layer symmetry effect. Then I'm going to choose an eraser and I'm going to erase the parts that I don't like. And the reason why I chose the vertical symmetry is so that it immediately does it on both sides. Otherwise I can just deactivate the layer and I would have to manually clean up both sides. So let's use a little bit of bigger brush, so this is faster. And let's just get rid of those parts that we do not need in the design. And voila, her spikes look nice and ready. So now let's just add a few final touches. And I want to add a grungy effect. So to do so, I merge all my visible layers and I delete the sketch layer. Then I create a mask by clicking on the layer and choosing mask and then I will take a grunge brush with black and just start removing parts that I don't like to give it this little distressed look. And as you can see I still have the mirror feature on so it was immediately a little bit too much of the grunge effect. So I deactivate the mirror and just test it out a few different ways to make this look nicely and distressed. See you in the next one. Thanks Maggie. And we hope that you liked this tutorial. If you did, then you may also enjoy one of the videos linked here on the screen. Thanks for watching. All the best. See you in the next video.